chant fellow speakers and guests. Imagine perfect summer evening. Still warm air from a hot sunny day. The air is soft on your skin. It's a beautiful evening promise. The sun is just setting, giving the whole world that orange, golden, red glow. Your soul is singing. And you know, this is the time to party. This particular party was a very, very special one. Our neighbor and friend, Jane, was celebrating her 40th birthday. Jane's family lived nearby. As I said, they were our neighbors. They lived in the old manor house, a beautiful property with thick stone walls with straw roof and the property was surrounded by the most magnificent English cottage garden with endless green lawns with perfectly trimmed hedges and in the middle of it all <coughs> there was a wild meadow complete with those beautiful little white flowers of blue and yellow and white and a little bit of lilac and you just think where did it come from? full of butterflies and, and bees buzzing around even in the late evening and this was the scene this is in this garden when the party was taking place just a day earlier a magnificent huge marquee was set up big white canvas tent with small plastic windows he stood there very proudly inviting us making us curious when we were driving past the garden when we walked into the marquee the most spectacular thing that I remember about this is the ceiling Somehow the ceiling in the marquee was transformed into the shimmery skyline. I don't know how they did it, but it looked to me like it was a indigo fabric spread across the vast space of the ceiling. And it was dotted with little LED lights, which created this shimmering um, impression. This light was giving us the feeling that we're special. It was in the same time rich and elegant and luxurious, as well as inviting and warm and welcoming. All tables were superbly decorated and prepared. All the chairs were covered in a white fabric and held together with a beautiful silk blue ribbon. Every table in the middle had a centerpiece, but not any centerpiece, a very thoughtful one. It was a tall centerpiece, allowing our guests to speak to each other without being hidden by the lump of some flower arrangement. Each centerpiece was a slender, silver, shiny vase. In the, inside each of the vase was a combination of flowers. We had red roses, big, lush, open, white lilies, very small and very elegant freesias of blue and, and lilac and yellow and we had the greenery cascading on all sides of the centerpiece just like little waterfalls with leaves. 
sense that the flowers created in the room was unforgettable, warm, summery, making us feel very special. The pure natural perfume, pure nature in a cup. Every table was prepared for eight guests. The white porcelain plate was set in front of every guest. The silver cold cutlery beautifully arranged on both sides. And the deep cut crystal glasses ready for action. Everything was telling us that this party is going to be very special. The glasses were ready to be drunk from. They were ready to be filled in with the sparkling best champagne. We couldn't wait. As the evening started, the guests started to arrive. And they were not an ordinary crowd. It couldn't be. We had a room full of characters from Hollywood movies. Because what you need to know about Jane is that she loved LA, she loved Hollywood, she loved Oscar celebrations, and that was the theme of her 40th birthday celebration. So if you looked around, you could, or you couldn't miss him actually, you could spot Braveheart, the most magnificent person in the room. He was a tall man. He was wearing a uh, heavy leather body armor and a woolen tartan, very heavy kilt, heavy boots. His face was painted in uh, white and blue and he was wearing a very untidy wig. Everything looked quite scary and quite overpowering. We had Liza Minelli from Cabaret. She was wearing her bowler hat and finished her look with a juicy red lipstick and a fishnet tight. The guests were able to mingle between in and out. The band was playing. The voices were creating that shimmering noise in the room. We were able to see it inside and outside because this is the beauty of the garden party. You don't have to sit in one place. And you can enjoy the glorious outside as much as the magnificent inside. And that's what we did. But all things come to an end. So when the evening was over, or shall I say when the morning Started, we said goodbye to our lovely host Jane. We kissed her and we wished her happy birthday one more time. And we thanked her for creating unforgettable evenings and unforgettable memories. She just got to laugh. A garden party.